Dear Supreme Court, I am looking up to you with a lot of hope. There have been many times that we have been taken above the mountain and just toppled from there. This journey has been a test of our patience. We hope that you will not test our patience anymore. We are equal beings, equal citizens of this country and our rights are important. We are not asking for the right of just having sex. We are asking for the right of living equal lives. We are asking for a life of dignity where the law is not allowed to peep inside our bedrooms. We have been made scapegoats. We have been treated like a football between the parliament and the court, between the court and the parliament. Not anymore. We are certain this time that you will stand up for the least common denominator of this country. Because even if I am one person who is queer in this country, my voice is important. The constitution of my nation guarantees me that voice. As long as I'm having sex with an adult in private, in the bedroom, it shouldn't be the business of the state to interfere. My love cannot be deemed illegal. Love is the law of nature and I'm sure that that's one principle that the Supreme Court would stand up for. That love is the law of nature. I'm hopeful for a positive verdict. I'm certain though that the fight for equality has just begun, even after a positive verdict. It's a long battle for a lot of other rights. And I'm certain that you would stand with us. I'm hopeful that you would stand with us. Satyamev Jayate, Jai Hind.